Hi guys, my name is Evan, uh, Evan Lowe. Some of you guys may know me by my artist Monica Adventure Time. I'm a music producer and a music director. I've been thinking about loving you and I. Uh, I think when I was a kid, I really enjoyed listening to uh, this pianist called Richard Clayderman. I think at that time, my mom was just playing in the background. She did her, uh, her housework and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Back to my mom for piano lesson. And another, I guess, another motiv motivating factor was I probably realized I think early in my years when I was studying primary school, secondary school, my grades weren't that good. They were average, but the only thing that was good at it, the only thing I was good at actually was music. That was the logical conclusion to go towards. So, music it was. I think with music production, uh, that came, I think, during my poly years. I just wanted to write songs, play in a band, have fun. So uh, recording, producing uh, an artist or whatever was a means to an end towards getting something recorded. Uh, as we went on, I think I found out that you know it was quite a, it was an art in it in itself. Because of that, that got me a little bit more involved in the whole process. Uh, one of the most important ones, and a lot of things, a lot of creatives don't talk about it, is managing your finances and and having a, a, a healthy work-life balance was something that nobody ever taught me. You know, managing this these two aspects was one of the biggest challenges when I first came out uh, to do this as a career. Uh, it was a lot of stumbling, a lot of falling, of falling and figuring out. But well, with a fair amount of uh, googling and studying, uh, I have managed to kind of well, crossed that hurdle early in my career, but it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. <laughs> I'll say this in a broad tip thing for creatives in general. Um, yes, your craft is important and work at it, but do recognize that there are other aspects of your craft that you do need to work at. Marketing yourself and networking is, is, is so crucial. If you're good, but nobody knows you're good, there's no point. You will, you will not get any work. Oh yes. I mean, for me, I always just thought that if I practice long enough in my room, people will come find me, which is not the case. It came to a point in my career where I know if I needed to make this money, if I needed to pay my bills, if I needed to keep my partner my uh, happy, uh, I realized that you know I wasn't doing enough, or rather, I wasn't doing it. Uh, enough to sustain me. Of course, there was a turning point, like I mentioned just now, uh, that made me realize that hey, uh, I needed to wake up. This this might sound really really cliche, but the only hurdle is you. If you believe that you're passionate enough and there is a unique perspective that you can lend to your art, don't stop. Uh, even if it's a small baby step, for example, I'm just going to learn one chord today. A step is still a step. Take it bit by bit. The bigger picture can be harrowing, it can be very stressful when you scope out and look at the bigger things. But it will be a lot more easier if you take it systematically, step by step. Conquer little bits, tiny victories, and you'll realize that once you scope back and you look right years down the road, you, might real you will realize that you actually learned a lot. One of my proudest productions lately, and this was done over the Circuit Breaker, was Fresh Feelings by Benjamin King. Uh, that was insanely fun. Uh, we had a, a Asian choir. Uh, it was insane, it was huge, and we filmed it right before the pandemic hit. So that was one of the most fun songs, and I'll recommend you to check that out. If you're talking about my own original material, uh, it would be, there's a song that I'm really proud of, it's called Vultures. Uh, it was one of my first songs when I first started out as my own uh, artist Monica. Uh, it's sung by Lin Ying and Charlie Lin. Uh, great tune, it's just something a little bit different from what I would do from day to day. A lot of people have asked me before whether passion can make a living out. I mean, I I'll, I'll, I'll want to say yes, and I really want to say so, but there's also one hot tip that I want to give you is what you're passionate about is might not exactly be what your God-given gift could be. For example, I never wanted to do this. I wanted to play drums. I always wanted to play drums, and, and that has been my passion. Although I'm a pianist by trade first, uh, I always wanted to play drums and tour the world playing drums, but um, 
over the years, I realized that, uh, or rather, my, uh, my natural tendency is to bring out the best in people in music, in the practice of music, was doing production. So, uh, it's still music and it's something I completely enjoy. Uh, but it's, it's not exactly what I'm truly crazy about. But it's just pragmatic and I understand that I need to do this. To, and this is a, a natural skill that I have to best serve this industry that I love. Uh, but don't let this bog you down. Um, there are people that are insanely talented at what they love. And, and that's that. But this, has ex this is my experience um, and that's happened for me. It might not be the same for you, but it's just something to think about. All the best out there.